It had to happen. We're finally going to graph two linear inequalities on the same set of axes. We call that a system of linear inequalities. The first inequality is 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 2. And there we have the overlap again. y is less than 5. Remember that and means the overlap. Before it meant the overlap of arrows. Now it's going to mean the overlap of colors. We turn our left inequality into the equation of a line. And we find two points on the line. I like to use the table method. You can use whatever method you want. Okay, there we go. We, we graph the points, that is, we plot the points, and we graph the line through them, and it's going to be a solid line. Now I find a test point, which is going to be 0, 0, because the line is not going through 0, 0. Now I rewrite my inequality, 2x minus y is greater than or equal to 2. And I test the inequality by putting the x-coordinate of the test point in for x and the y-coordinate of the test point in for y, and I get a false answer. 0 is greater than or equal to 2. That's not true. So I shade the other side of the line from my test point because my test point gave me a false answer. Now I graph the other inequality. I turn y is less than 5 into a line, y equals 5, which is the, uh, the equation of a horizontal line, and strictly greater than gives us a dashed line. So I graph the, uh, the dashed line y equals 5, which goes through 5 on the y axis. The point 0, 5. Now I choose my test point, which again is going to be 0, 0. I rewrite the inequality, y is less than 5, and I put the y-coordinate of my test point in for the y. Notice I did exactly the same things over on the left. All right, I get y is less than 5, which is true. So 0, 0 gives me a true. I will shade that side in blue. Now remember, AND is the overlap. So AND is going to be where the two colors overlap. And in my math lab, you would drag the little paint bucket to that area the area of overlap. So here is your answer, if you will. You have a solid boundary on the left, a dashed boundary above, and the area of overlap is the area I'm coloring in, in red. It's always a good idea to make a quick sketch of your system of inequalities or just one inequality at a time on paper and then transfer that to my math lab or whatever program you're using.